Stand back, folks. Angela's breathing fire. And you don't want to get scorched. Just ask her hubby, Michael. You won't believe the ordeal the man has been through. Now, hold on to that teacup. What we're about to spill will blow you away. Clearly, the woman is extra and drops more F-bombs than she inhales oxygen. Her relationship guru and therapist need to be fired ASAP, if you ask us. If my daddy was alive, he would have sat here and waited you to come over here and he would have hand slapped you right in your mouth. Hand slapped me. My dad would have beat your Did you just hear what she screamed? Uh, threatening your boy toy, <clears throat> hubby, that your daddy will slap him? If that doesn't spell daddy issues, we don't know what does. Her tantrums are out of pocket in the worst possible way. My car. Michael! Come on, Michael! I paid for this car, bitch. Tell him I'll break the windows next. But this isn't even the worst of it. She's clearly slaying in her role as the resident tyrant. So much so that her Nigerian husband decided to take ghosting to a whole new level. Yes, Michael just dropped off the face of the earth in February 2024. Meep, meep. Because, get this, he was afraid his life was in danger. Dun, dun, dun. But don't worry, he later posted a message about being AWOL on all social media through someone else's account. Hello guys, this is Michael. Uh, just want to quickly make this video to inform the public that I'm not in any social media platform right now. He also decided to call the police from his burner phone to declare that he was not missing. And dropped this massive bomb. His wife was abusing him. Say what? And a burner phone? There's a lot that Michael has been hiding other than himself. So what's the story, Morning Glory? We need to investigate with a capital I. Michael and Angela's marriage has more holes than Swiss cheese. Duh, bet that doesn't come as a surprise. Like a can of beans that has gone off its expiry date, Michael and Angela's love-hate relationship has turned sour and sunk to a whole new low. Ship. Angela broke the shocking news of her hubby's disappearance act around February 23rd. The lady was mystified. Hmm, we wonder why. She was clueless about why her better-turned-bitter half would just leave without an explanation. Uh, right? She then chalked it up to him not receiving his green card and felt that she was being used. Boo-hoo! Ever wonder if it could be all the in-your-face aggression 24-7? No, I'm not! Now say the want to say, I'm an American. Land of the phrase. Michael was so desperate to cut loose from the fire-breathing Angie that he even left his ID and wallet. Now, what comes after this will shock you. Ah! 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 Celebrity blogger John Yates threw everyone for a loop when he disclosed this. Not only was Michael found, but he wanted to keep his whereabouts on the down low from Angela. 90 Day Fiance sure turned into the 90 Day Fiasco for these two. A fiasco that turned downright sinister. And that's putting it mildly. A lot of drama is bubbling up to the surface, and things have taken a spicy turn. A Reddit user has jumped into the fray with a wild story. Turns out, the abuse that Angie dishes out to Michael is a lot more than just verbal fireworks. A taser was allegedly involved when the two had an epic kerfuffle on a California trip. 90 Day Fandom has spoken, and they cannot believe that Angela's crazy abuse is being televised. As if this wasn't enough, the Dragon Lady's financial abuse is a whole other shebang. No, this, this, I don't this, give this, a this, goddamn about um, no money, Calm down, you and your goddamn money, Yeah, nothing like throwing away your spouse's money to have some cosmetic dentures put in, leaving him penniless and broke. Okay, it had something to do with losing extra pounds and altering her boobies, but that's not the point. The point is, he had to ask her for a handout on his birthday. Lisa, I want some more. What? And you want to know something? It gets even more heinous. Apparently, screaming her lungs out and threatening Michael does not fill Angela's cup. She needs to do her mostest to beat him down emotionally. She's legendary at keeping her man financially codependent. 
Now, Michael has always had a thing for doing his thing on social media to bring in some crisp dinero, but nope, Angela's having none of it. Watch this epic reaction. Stay away. Yes, Stay away for once. You getting ready to get a shock in your life. Stay away. It's confirmed she ain't looking for a husband. All she wants is an NPC to boss around. That's a non-playable character for all you millennials out there. Big on obedience, but low on personality. She wants to toy around with Michael and keep him chained. That massive hissy fit is sedate by Angela's standards. Now, as more and more details are oozing out of this marriage project gone wrong, one thing is becoming obvious. Angela is completely cuckoo. <laughs> Not only is she a passport snatcher because she grabbed and locked away his passport, but she's also low-key deranged. She damaged his phone during the heat of the moment. Nah, it wasn't a passionate moment. Well, it was passionate, but not of the good variety. Think kapow. Was this an isolation tactic? If it was, it wasn't the only one of its kind. Apparently, Angela gets all excited about putting things behind lock and key because she also locked Michael in when she went out. Is there an abuser's handbook that she's got her hands on? This is textbook stuff. Clearly, burner phones are quite handy. Michael really let loose with his tell-all spiel on Angela's not-so-loving shenanigans and lived to tell the tale. But Angela here is seeing red. She now feels backstabbed by her beau, and while that can't be thrilling, she had it coming. Now the lady with the red-hot temper and toxic tongue has only got one thing on her mind. To seek revenge. <laughs> they say revenge is best served cold, but Angela wants to serve up some hot deportation papers to her man. Just in case you were wondering what Angela put Michael through, it was a lot, and it wasn't pretty. The man totally lost his freedom as soon as he arrived in the land of the free. No passport and no phone, remember? The first thing to go out the door was Michael's social life. Yeah, Angela did not want him to talk to his homies. Michael's time in the US with Angela sucked. She punched all his stress buttons. So here's a tip. Putting someone under house arrest will never crack it as hashtag relationship goals. But that's exactly what Angela sneakily did behind closed doors. The plot thickens. Time to uncover some more dirt. Come on, Ross, you're a paleontologist. Dig a little deeper. Well, that didn't take a lot of digging. We'll serve up the gossip piping hot, so grab your hot water bottle and get comfy. It turns out Angela also made a point to latch onto Michael like Velcro. He just couldn't step out into the world without wifey tagging along. Possessive much, Angela? The man wasn't even allowed to hold down a job if he wanted to enjoy the dough TLC paid him. As far as gatekeeping goes, Angela didn't do anything halfway. She even had him in a social media chokehold. Yeah, we mean no social media accounts. No wonder his world was in shambles. Would I have married you if you were talking to women on Instagram? Would I have married you? But wait, this is only half the story. What about Angela? What does she have to say about all this information overload that Michael unpacked like unwanted cargo? Well, we've got news. Straight up, denial is what's popping out of Camp Angela at the moment. Subtlety is not Angela's strong point, and she has shot down all of Michael's claims, calling them lies and labeling Michael as a scammer. Oh, come on! The woman is giving off main character energy in this twisted drama. Does Michael stand a chance? Well, Angela's in fire starter mode. She's pulling out all the stops, going as far as shelling out a pretty buck to go after Michael. No, she's not hiring a hitman, thankfully, but she is loosening her purse strings to splash 10 grand to hire three lawyers. She's not kidding about getting her hubby kicked off American soil. In the meantime, we can let her cook. Well, she is cooking, just not how we imagined. Angela has been in overdrive on her social media accounts to take down some of the heat surrounding Michael's departure slash disappearance. Call it damage control. But Angela's in hardcore victim mode. She's throwing all these barbs and zingers at her husband in her posts. Recognizing a fantastic opportunity when she sees one, she's also channeling her inner motivational guru and posting feel-good photos of herself against uplifting song lyrics. Dare we say she's had a glow-up of sorts, and even looks fierce in some of her pictures? It's weird, and it's getting even weirder by the minute. 
In a strange, otherworldly universe, here's a blast from the past reminding us it didn't quite start this way. Angela and Michael had their fair share of cozy, aww kind of moments. Life works in bizarre ways, and here are the two celebrating their third anniversary. That's a lot of years of this social media madness since 2018. We're now in Season 8 of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After. These two need to touch grass. Trigger warning, this might give you the ick, but here's a snippet. Here's... I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sexy Nigerian's back. So what's your take on Michael and Angela's dip into drama? And how do you think things will pan out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you think Angela's bad, then just wait and see what Natalie has in store for Mike in this next video you need to watch.